Hey everybody, zero one 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 again. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you this right here. Um, this is an upgraded version of my previous uh, serial memory experiment, which was this monstrosity right here. Um, as you can see, it looks like a big, giant, tangled mess. I've got it color-coordinated, but that's so I can keep track of where everything goes, and that's not very good engineering. Um, it did work. However, I'm going on to this one right here, which is a lot nicer. Now, eventually, I'm going to get this to be a full 16-bit um, system. It, that'll give me a total access to 256 uh, bytes of memory. So, it's pretty simple, really. The same basic concept. The red is a reset. The yellow is the memory addressing. The blue is the actual data. So I've got nothing set up here, so I'm going to go over there and set that top one, which is uh, 0011, which is up there. So now we're just going to set it. Oh, I've got the reset on. Never mind, we won't reset it yet. Okay, let's try it again. Now, there it is up there. You can see it. Now we're just going to reset it. And then as it's resetting, we're just going to fly back here. Alright, and it's gone. Now, as you can see, this is a lot more organized than my other one. You can see that I'm using my new vertical transmission system. I made a video about that one if you're interested about it. Um, I'm using it in three places. This is the reset. This is to transmit the data between uh, each of the memory cells. And then this is for the addressing to uh, make sure that the memory cells get addressed properly. Um, I've got pistons here just to keep track of which one is being activated without actually having to go in there and see which one is actually activated. So, I mean, it's still basically the same thing. This is my uh, memory right here. And this is all of the uh, pistons that will make contact to there based on uh, what memory location is addressed. So these lines right here are actually tied in over here. Um, this is the data communication box right here. And then it goes, it transmits all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top. Now the cool thing about this design is that I only have to go through here. Um, this is what actually collects the data off the serial line and transmits into a parallel which is what you see here, is I only have to do this once. And then with the vertical transmission, it just sends it all the way up there, and I don't have to worry about changing anything or working with the timing or anything like that. Um, as I said before, this is the memory, um, or addressing, I should say. Now, this is the memory for the addressing. It's a uh, temporary memory. It get, gets reset after every single action. And then uh, what this does is it takes the serial information for the addressing, and it makes it into a parallel, and then it transmits that parallel addressing information straight up. Now, with what I've got right here, I can go up another 12 memory cells. It wouldn't be that hard, and I shouldn't have to worry about any of the timing. Um, let's see. Over here is the uh, what starts the whole process. We've got the serial input here. We've got the control pulse, which starts this whole process. This is a small memory cell right here, this little 3x3 three three block. And then what that does is it goes into the... Uh, uh, this is a solid input to a pulse output. And then that will send a pulse through here, through all the memory, and then all the way across there. And then it also starts this timer, which will go down through there, and then go up into this. Um, once it reaches here, it'll send out another pulse to reset this memory here. Alright, so I'm going to activate this real quick, but first I have to turn off the reset. Alright. Now these buttons are just uh, remotes so I can start it from anywhere I want. So we will start from right here, and then you'll see the data start to come down through here. Alright, now you can see my vertical system working. It sends the data straight up. It's very, very fast. You can see it through here too. It sends it all the way up. And then what happened is it set those blue blocks back there. 
come over here on this side and they are lit. So that's basically how this whole system works. Um, this 